video to luck let's go like all the way to the beginning and luck luck I'm sure that's how you start the video. Okay. So disgusting. So this is all planned out in advance. This whole thing she's doing here. It's all fake. It's all a lie. It's all because Shani's hungry. God damn. Look at this. So fake. Okay. Oh, wait. I need sound. Yeah, like we just caught her. Yeah, like we just walked in the room and that's what Shani was doing. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm not, obviously, I'm not doing good today, but I'm in a lot of pain. And, um, oh, she's in so much pain, pain, she can't even open her eyes. I've just been thinking about a lot. Um, I pretty much making this today just to say goodbye to people. Because, because it's like human nature, you know, if you walk into the room, you know, and you see someone like this, you know, you're going to ask, you know, what's wrong, honey? What you seem upset. What's the matter? You know what I mean? <laughs> is that is that what she wants? Oh honey, what's wrong? You look devastated. Come here, honey. Here's some money. I think the uncles told him to get the fuck out of there. She didn't wash her hair. That's fucking grease. You actually thought her hair was wet from washing it? And it's like she just got out of the shower or something. It's still wet. <laughs> no, that's grease. Shandy's been washing her hair with Crisco. All right, so. You guys ever yeah. smelled anybody with filthy, dirty hair? It's one of the most repulsive scents. It's so gross. It's one of the, it's like in my top three scents that I just can't stand. Dirty vaginas. Buttholes did greasy hair. <laughs> say this, I'm not obviously I'm not doing good today, but I'm in a lot of pain and um I'd say dicks, but I haven't been close enough things. to one with my nose to tell you. They might smell I've good. I've been thinking about a lot. Um I pretty much making this today just to say goodbye to people. Oh no! I, I I just I can't handle the stress. I I can't handle these. Since we got you here, is it? Will you show us your wrist? Hmm. Fake people who pretend they care for me, and then I find out that they're talking shit behind my back. And 
and they just try to be nice to me just to get information <laughs> and <Okay>. just <laughs> throw me pretty much under the bus because they need the fucking clout <laughs> I can't do it anymore I am uh, this has got to have to do with another one of her supporters dropping out huh she gets like this every time she gets in these relationships, you know, where they're giving her money and shit. And then when they break it off and tell her, you know, you ain't getting no more money or anything, you know what I mean? It just, she gets completely devastated because that was her, you know, meal ticket to get her pizzas, little Debbie's, two liters, Chinese. Uh, s'more cereal, s'mores pop tarts, bologna and cheese sandwiches. I'm way too sick. I'm in way too much pain. You don't know what pain is. So I'm going to be turning my Instagram over to Jason. Um... Why not just delete it? <laughs> Why giving it to Jason? Jason's got his hands full. Jason don't need that. What are you having Jason do over there with it? Beg for money? Is that the only reason why? Hmm? Delete it, Shanny. Delete your Instagram. She won't do that. Shanny uses her Instagram as a criminal tool. That's where Shanny goes on and uh, tells people that she needs money for her family that she doesn't have. And that's where Shanny goes and tells people she's dying. Yeah, she occasionally asks people to send them their medications to her. Yeah. She ain't gonna let that go. That's her main source of income, and it has been for the last few months. Is that goddamn Instagram? I tell you guys how, how they do that. Jason gets on there, or she does, and says it's Jason. Gets on the Instagram and says, Shani needs prayers. You know, as if it's from Jason, because Shani's too sick to post anything. You know, that's not Shani typing that out, saying it's Jason. Shani needs prayer. And then whoever replies to that with concern, that's who they target. That's who they work on. You know, this person sounds like a caring person. The only thing that's going to make Shani feel better is $10. It's such... I, I can't do it anymore. It's so low level, um, you know? I don't have the energy for it. I, I, this this I, is not I, a very sophisticated don't, operation don't they got going on there. <laughs> like, I don't want to talk to anyone. I, I, Go away! I, uh, <laughs> you taken. I don't... It, it made me, like, to a point where I just don't want to talk to people. I try... But then I find out that they're not who they say they were, and I just, I'm, I'm done going through it's it. It's the internet. It's not real life. I'm done being hurt. I'm done. I, I'm already taking enough pain as it is with it myself. Talk with your fucking I'm eyes open. open. That's the kind of that. shit fucking Cyrax does when he gets all emotional like this. Like he sits and talks with his crazy. eyes shut. Drives me fucking crazy. Oh, uh, yeah? What happened to you as a kid? Her sister slapped her upside the head. 
Dead Shanny's abuse. Oh boy. Yeah, you came from a really abusive uh, home, huh? Yeah. Most people would have appreciated coming from a home like hers, huh? Look how she just shits all over it. You notice, too, she's talking about her sister a lot. She has the last couple videos, her brothers and sisters. I think Shani's been trying to get into contact with them. Hey, hey, uh, Carrie. I think that's what's going on. Shani's tried to come into contact with their siblings. And I guarantee you that's why she's sitting here talking about them the last couple of days. Because she knows the uncle wants them to fuck out. So Shani's desperate. I bet you that's what's going on. I don't care if people fucking believe it or not. Yeah, I don't have any solid proof of it. I don't care. She's a liar. So I don't believe anything that comes out of her fucking mouth, her fat, wart face mouth. All those little warts around her eyes. Sickening. Sir would hit on me. And could I tell you guys something real quick too? Now that I'm thinking about it. And, and I've said this before in the past. There's one thing about this whole st story that bothers me. And it's, I do believe that when they finally hit rock bottom, I believe Shani may talk him into, how can I say this? Um, talking, you know, have a pact to, together to unalive each other. I, something inside me tells me that's what's coming. And I think that's why it was important that the uncle was contacted to inform him of exactly what's going on. Because I tell you, I, I couldn't live with myself if I knew that that was going to happen and I didn't let a relative of, of him to at least know about that, what was going on under his roof. You know, and now that I did notify him, I don't really give a shit. You know, I feel like my hands are clean. But something tells me that's in their future because they don't have any future, man. They fucked their life up so fucking bad that there's no recovering from this. There's no coming back. They have hit the lowest of fucking low. It'd be different if this was like the 1950s and shit, you know, and you didn't have the internet, the information we have today. There's no getting out of it. They're never going to be successful no matter what field they go into. Not that they're planning on going any type of field or anything. Did you guys hear the last video? Shani was talking about how her uh, degree is worthless because Shani can't walk. Shani's handicapped. <laughs> but seriously, I don't know if he watches their videos or not. I don't know. And I don't really think... I think when the uncle came over there, I think he's just completely brainwashed by these two, you know. Oh, it's just the internet. None of that's true. They're just saying that to get clout, you know. But like I said, he has been warned, you know. And, um... You know, I would hate for something like that to happen, you know, for his sake, you know. 
I don't know the guy or anything. I imagine he's pretty stupid. To let this big whale just lay on your couch for a fucking year. It's been a year since they've been back in that uncle's house. Everything in there is fucking ruined. It's stained yellow from urine and cigarettes. There ain't a fucking goddamn thing with this fucking bitch. Okay, she's capable of working some type of fucking job. You see them, you see people with fucking handicaps goddamn working a lot worse than hers. If she's so bad off, where's her disability? You know, where's her disability check at? Nothing. There's no proof of any of these lies. These are all lies. And Jason's got to sit there and pretend like what she's saying is true. They're in a real bad situation right now. I mean, this is bad. Nobody's giving them fucking shit. Nothing. This is their only source of income, and they're not getting anything. Jason over there, you know he has a lot worse than her because she eats all the food. Like, I smoke cigarettes. You guys probably already figured that out by now. I would go completely insane without cigarettes. Now imagine that being hungry on top of it, you know? He's suffering. She's su well, actually, they both are, but I think they're out of there. I think the uncle's sick of it. And they're not saying anything yet. Because this, this all seems a little bit too desperate to me. This, this is high drama they're putting out there. What are they going to do, though? Okay, let's say the uncle does um, throw them out. We all know that they're not going to leave. There's no way Shady's just going to walk out of that house. You know what I mean? There's no way. He's going to have to get in contact with the authorities. That is for sure, 100%. Any way you look at it, when he wants her out of that house, Shady's not moving if she don't have anywhere to go. She ain't leaving that couch. You can't throw out a sick 700-pound woman. Yeah, forklift. Too bad we won't be able to see it, huh? Watch Shandy just lay there and ref refuse to move. Tell him everybody she can't. She's too sick. <laughs> wow I wouldn't mind having some cameras in there you know if you did have a camera in there and you watched these two it would be the most boring thing you ever seen if you had hidden cameras in there all it is is Shani sitting in front of the laptop lay, well, I, laying in front of the laptop with Jason, like, looking over her shoulder, watching what she's watching. Because they don't have a TV. Everything, all their entertainment comes from that laptop. You know, that's like their TV. And that's all you would see is just her laying there on YouTube. Gaining her YouTube knowledge, her YouTube education. You know, the shit she gets on here and spews. I like the one where she was talking about how 
telling the the audience, "Oh, wouldn't it be delightful if I were I reviewed some some crime stuff?" You know, as if she we're all looking forward to reviewing crime shit with Shani with her psychology degree. <laughs> You know what I mean? Is that really what she thinks? Why we would enjoy? Because we want to look at from a intelligent, uh, almost has her master's degree in psychology point of view. That's what we want to see it. See it from Shani. Yeah, we're dumb. It's fucking sick. Shani's degree. And when she says degree, you know Jason's over there cringing. He knows she ain't got no goddamn degree. <laughs> Fucking degree. Like, slap me in the back of the head and hurt me on purpose. And then seeing my parents stick up for her like I did something wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Don't you have to have your bachelor's d degree before you get into the uh, master's program? I could have sworn that was the case. So, Shady should at least have a bachelor's. Yeah, like, it's okay to hurt me. No, that, that type of pain, that type of abuse I stoned. took from my sister. Yeah, Shanny Stone, yeah, the hippie babe. Yeah, Shanny the hippie babe. Yeah, she's stone. Look at her. Ain't she cool? Mother and my father. You could really give these two fucking assholes. If you told these fucking freaks that you could get high if you ate like 20... Uh, Flintstones vitamins, they would fucking do it and it would be uncontrollable. They would start freaking out. They affected me in adult life where I needed and I Idiots. therapy. To deal with it. My uncle pays your bills. Because it's very hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to quit reading the chat if you do this. What the fuck? My uncle pays your bills. <laughs> fuck did you come from? Who are you? What the f... <laughs> Why would you even think of that scenario? My uncle pays your bills. <laughs> you need some help. Then growing up as an adult. Instead of G Man pays your bills. <laughs> Everybody but Jason. The welfare pays your bills. Already going through so much. Medically and physically, that it's just like. It's too much to take. Oh, it's such torture. Oh, Lord. Look at her, guys. Look. Don't you have a couple bucks? Jason's sitting right there, ready to take over. Shani will no longer be broadcasting. Um, Jason will be begging for money on Shani's behalf from now on. Thank you very much. Do it anymore. I can't.
Keep putting it on <laughs> Tommy pays your bills, whore! I can't do it anymore. You know? Abby! If I help fucking... If I was the uncle... And I fucking met her. There's no way I could go through life without getting up in her face and just calling her a fucking work face, you know? There's no way I could go through life passing up that opportunity to just get right up in her fucking say, you fucking work face pig. There's only so many times you can be lied to, deceived. Stolen from. Somebody severely get me, Tommy. You can't do it anymore, especially if you're like going through really bad physical you if you Okay. okay, I guess it came back. Okay, what? Okay, they had a stutter in the stream. Now, look at her when the stream starts up again. You notice at the beginning of this video, Shani's little poor face sadness. Now, watch your, watch your new pose right here. Watch, watch it when it comes back. Look, look. Look, 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 ah, guys. Look, look. <laughs> Shanny's on welfare. Guys, Shanny's on food stamps. <laughs> but, sorry about that. Oh, oh, it's okay, honey. But I can't do it. Anymore. You're on welfare. Uncle Tommy pays your bills. It's been years of just laying around. Years of just laying around. I tell you guys, it's been Two years since these fucking bums landed in Pennsylvania again, you know? Two years. This is how fucking stupid she is. She had them two fucking kids, two dependents, and this fucking dumbass bitch didn't apply for Section 8. That's what fucking Section 8 is designed for, is for bums like you, fatso. So what were you expecting to do? Oh, you didn't apply for Section 8 because you're planning on getting a job and working? Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? So, so she deserves everything she's fucking getting. Did you apply for Social Security Disability? So this is her own goddamn fault. Imagine the money you could save. Two people employed, not paying any fucking rent, no utilities except for fucking the internet. The met... The uh, amount of money you could fucking grow. I mean, doing absolutely fucking nothing. And then to fucking get on here and you're going to tell us the, the reason why is because you're fucking, you, you two are sick. You know, what happened to you guys? I... Didn't you guys have $700,000? If I remember right, Jason was talking about uh, Tyrone eating lobster tails and telling everybody to get a job. What is all this? What the hell is going on here? You guys still got that money. You guys are just joking around, right? Nobody actually says those things. Nobody belittles the poor, do they? 
Ah, Shanny. Fighting and defending myself over things that I shouldn't even be defending. Yeah, they're all lies. All these lies that you guys tell about her. That's not right. Stop lying about her. So much time was wasted. <laughs> you can say that again. Like, I'm sick. I'm sick. And then people you, try to you validate are? everything I say. Everything I say. About how my sick. life has been true. It's been a horror show. Hey, we have we haven't seen this much suffering in a while, have we? Not this bad, especially from Shanny. I told you guys right before a couple weeks before Shanny did her fake unaliving attempt that she had. Uh, a content creator who was sending her fucking money and was also sending Shanny uh, Walmart grocery deliveries. But that ended up uh, fizzling out on Shanny. Shanny got desperate. What was Shanny's next move for fucking pity? The fake un unaliving attempt. That worked out real well, didn't it, Shanny? It's fucking, this, this is just fucking pathetic. It's hard for me to sit and feel sorry for someone that gets on here and exploits cancer. You know, mental illnesses. You know, because that, that's all she's doing. It's just exploiting this stuff for profit. She needs to be in fucking jail. Actually, if you really think about it, she needs to be in jail. Just struggling to survive. Struggling to keep a happy face. I get off on this shit watching them suffer. I do not seek out friendship from anyone anymore. I get off on this. Why? They're just going to hurt me. They're just going to betray me. <laughs> do you guys want to see one of my clips? You know it. Let's pause it for a second. I'll show you guys one of my clips I made. It might be stupid. I'm not really sure. But uh, I'll give you a little clip. You can never think straight when you're angry. So why should I be angry? Like if you choose, if it's your choice to be happy, isn't it your choice to be angry too? Think about it. It's your think about it. It think about it. It think about it. It think about it. It Jenny's back too. And she's more cute than ever. Look at her eyes. Look at her. She's looking look back and forth, looking up into the corners of her eyes. Look. Isn't she so cute? <laughs> yeah, that it's a I was putting together a compilation of uh just stupid shit and uh I never really finished it. I got another one here too. And I'm not done editing it, but I'll, I'll Play it for you guys anyway. 
Okay. Let's see. Which one? In here? All right, let's see what happens. Well, hello. Oh, Jason, honey. You must feel as if you have the whole world on your shoulders. So that's why I'm coming back. It's like... Well, well. All right, yeah, that's... that's I have a different version of that one. Here it is. <laughs> Oh, Jason, honey, you must feel as if you have the whole world upon your shoulders. So that's why I'm coming back. It's like... Well, well, well. Looks like the bum is back, huh, guys? Things must not be working out too well over on Instagram, huh? Things running slim over there, boy? Shani doesn't feel it's right to give Jason food. If Jason isn't contributing anything. So here we are again, just like the Social Security disability check that Jason was supposed to get. Where is it, Jason? You said you were supposed to get a Social Security disability check. Where is it? Oh, let me guess. You were just saying that to pacify Shani. So here we are again, Jason make, reigniting his channel. To try to make it seem to Shanny like he's doing something. Because he knows nobody out here is listening to him. Some child abuser. Nobody cares about his political opinion. Because everybody knows it's just a repeat of what Shanny shoves in his brain. Jason doesn't have a thought of his own. Jason doesn't have his own opinion. Shanny does. I hate to be the bearer of bad news there. But you guys ain't getting a social security disability. <laughs> As you guys probably noticed, I'm a little obsessed about this whole social security disability check thing. So the federal government knows that there's all kinds of fraudsters out there. They know what to look for. These two fools ain't getting no damn social security check. You know, that's the only reason these two fools want to be on so, so they could just lay around, you know what I mean, and do nothing and then use the Internet to supplement their drug usage, you know, so. Be rest assured, when Jason sits on here and tells everybody he's getting a Social Security disability check, he ain't getting one. It's a lie. Sandy's not getting one either. I'm riding with Joe, I, and that's cool. You know, get the Biden shades, absolutely. You know, I'm riding with Joe. Jason sure does know how to captivate an audience, doesn't he? Jason doing this, he thinks it's a special treat for you guys. Because, see, Jason's a famous radio guy. That's what he calls himself, a radio guy. Despite not having any education in it, no experience, this, he's got the same experience as I do on here or anybody else on here that makes videos. But Jason says he's a radio guy. That's cool. Uh, does a radio station need someone to, you know, take over a, 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 G, a DJ job or something, man? I could roll discs for you and play 90s uh, goth and, and punk music and not punk and goth. What the hell is wrong with me? I was more into stained and, and tool. So like progressive metal, uh, progressive metal, uh, uh, you know, like, like typo negative, like, like doom metal, uh, nine inch naily industrial stuff and, and sprinkle in some like uh, Juno reactor techno awesomeness. And I, Hey, don't you love how he went into like the subcategories of metal? Just just to show you his knowledge. <laughs> I 
I could DJ that shit and put on sunglasses and a cowboy hat and be the reverend dude and spinning that stuff. Did you hear him? Jason's going to wear his hat and sunglasses and be the reverend dude radio guy. That's Jason's trademark. Hat and glasses. See him there beside him? Look, isn't he a true professional? Look at his hand movement. Now there's a real speaker. He really knows how to get his point across, doesn't he? Wow, Jason, you're so mesmerizing. Maybe you could get a job over at the radio station. When he's got all of these legal woes in front of him, and, and, and what, come on, this ain't going to work. Are they going to call that? Are they going to do that? And then give it to somebody like a Mike Pence? So Jason's plan was to wear this costume of this mysterious cowboy, you know, with the hat and the glasses. That's going to be Jason's trademark for his little radio guy show. I don't know. But as it stands right now, you got Trump. Trump is even half and half in the American public against Biden. It's all about being qualified. Did you guys notice that? He, Jason's qualified for Social Security Disability. Jason's qualified to be on the radio. God, I can't stand this guy. Can All right, that's where I'm going to leave it at. I'm not done with it, so. You guys get a sneak preview of my masterpiece. You're welcome. It's it's like for some reason humans have this lack of understanding when someone is going through it. And I'm going through it. And I just I can't do it anymore. It hurts too much. It's too much stress on me. Like how my life hey, do you want to? Do you guys want to see one of the main reasons why I cannot stand her? Do you guys have a minute? I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys watch this, and I, I want you guys to tell me what you think about this whole performance here. Now, where the fuck is it? Um, I believe it's this one. Oh, no, this is the... All right, so... I'm coming. Hey, you guys noticed... Did you guys notice anything about this title when Shani was broadcasting this that strikes you as a little odd? Do you see what she named it? The Professional Rambler. See, that's kind of messed up because that's what Jason kind of prides himself in the being. You know, a professional speaker. But Shani's going to let him know that's not the case. Shani's the real professional in the relationship. You can't ever overpower Shani. Okay, where I I wish she wouldn't put these. Yeah, this is the one, yeah. We're only gonna watch a minute of it. We only need to watch a minute of it. But what I want you guys to focus on is her eyes. How she moves them into the corners. You know what I mean? Looks over into the top corners of her eyes. Trying to look real cute. 
And you know she's got that from somebody, some other creator she was watching. So Shani thought it would be cute if she got in on here and did it too. This is not Shani. This is not, this is somebody she watched and thought it would be cute if she did it. Look at her. Watch her eyes. Look at it. So sickening. There. Oh, yeah. Watch her. Watch your eyes. Look. So. See? I guess you noticed. Um. In my last video. Yes, you are right. I am medicated. I am on muscle relaxants called Cyclobenzaprine. And it has a effect on me where my face is like literally melting looking. Um, I feel like I'm melting too on it. I don't know who Chief it's Little really Flower tricky. is. But my back isn't as stiff. Um. Yeah, this isn't her. She was sitting and watching somebody doing this and she thought it would be cute. So she started doing it. Just, you know, just like, remember she was doing the foodie beauty smile where she crinkles up her nose crinkles up her whole face <laughs> I'm not in much pain where I'm writhing so like I want to ask my audience to is anyone hearing this? yes it is I just want to ask my audience to Forgive me for my face melting. All right, let's get to the real cringy part of it. I take that. It'll be okay. This is where she really and, does um, it with the eyes. The whimsical eyes of a princess. Shani has the whimsical eyes of a princess. Look. To be angry all the time and feel bitter toward people. So whimsical. Is not the way, man. It is not the way. Um. I. Keep on watching the eyes. I've come to realize that hatred is an ignorant <coughs> and pointless. And, and and really not a good emotion. It always gets you into trouble. You can never think straight when you're angry. So Does this voice sound familiar to you guys? Here's a quiz. I got a quiz for you guys. You guys hear this voice? When's the last time Shani used this voice? I'm waiting. I'm waiting on your answers. I know you, it's, it sounds familiar to you guys. You got to remember this. When did Shani last use this voice? This sweet voice. This sweet, innocent, a caring voice. Sweet. Somebody in here's got to know when she was using it. Come on. Answer my goddamn question. Nobody knows? Do you guys remember the shirt? The size medium shirt of Jason's where she's sitting there and she's telling every asking the ladies out there how you lose all that extra skin? This is the same voice she was using then. Trying to sound cute. Don't 
so why should I be angry? Like, see, look at her lose, eyes. If it's your choice, yeah, this this is it. Look, watch your eyes when you're angry. Look, so why should I be angry? Like, if you choose whimsical, if it's your choice to be happy, isn't it your choice to be angry too? Think about it. It's yeah. your choice to be angry. You don't have yeah. to be Did you see happy. her? Isn't it your choice to be angry? Watch too? her. Watch her. Look. Look. Think about it. It's your. Ooh, you got a double angry. one. You got a double foodie beauty smile. You got a double one. Choice to be happy. Isn't it your choice to be angry too? Think, Think about, about it. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You don't have to be angry. Because, see, when you're angry, it's your choice to be angry, too. Think about it. It's your choice to be angry. Yeah, think about it. You don't have to be angry. Because, see, when you're angry, you can think right. Think clearer. You know, be sober-minded. Instead of, like, being in this hate-filled, I'm going to stay ignorant type of... uh, Drink Wait, my I, piss. I just, I'm just not into that type of thinking. Um, I'm not going to be. I choose to be happy. I choose not to hold grudges. I choose to... She's got quite the face she could probably pass as a jack-o'-lantern on Halloween. Forgive people and to under... You know, with the teeth. <laughs> you know how they carve those teeth out like those block teeth in a pumpkin? Right here. Understand them and to have compassion for them. I choose to live my life like that. And I shouldn't be shamed for wanting to live my life like that. Being angry is such a waste. Oh, you're so popular. It's such a waste. Yeah, you're so popular. I love popular Shanty, don't you guys? The prom queen mermaid princess. Don't you? Don't you just love the popular Shanny? Everybody wants to be like Shanny. Everybody wants to be Shanny's friend. Because Shanny's popular. Shanny has clout. Like that. Watch, she's gonna she's gonna sneak in another foodie beauty smile for us. She's so adorable. And I shouldn't be shamed for wanting to live my life like that. Being angry is such a waste. Oh, yeah. It's such a waste. There it is. Ooh, I love that smile where she does it. She crinkles up her nose and she does it real slow. Being angry is such a waste. Oh, yeah. It's such a waste. Like, there's no need to be angry about stuff. You know? If your life didn't turn out the way it, what you thought it would, big deal. You're still alive. You're still experiencing life. You could, you could experience it in your life be like, oh, Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Um seems we got a little bit of a problem here, guys. Just what the hell is this here? You guys see that? What is that? We got one here too. Look. Look. Look here. A double wart picking right here. Look. Look, look. That's so gross, man. She's cursed, isn't she? She's cursed. That is a curse. (laughs) 
but that just makes you angry. What if you experience in your life happy and just embrace whatever circumstance and whatever thing you have in life? Just embrace it, you know? Um, you know, stay in the now. Stay in the now. Didn't Shani say she dated a Jamaican guy at one point in her life? And, and realize that your life is precious and you're okay. Like right now, you're okay. You don't have to be angry or, or, or feel. Look at, all look those at her face. The, the reason why I'm asking about it is I'm pretty ignorant with this shit. Isn't fucking like voodoo and shit pretty popular down in Jamaica? Or am I thinking of somewhere else? Yeah. I'm real ignorant about this shit. <laughs> Cause I'm thinking maybe she was she was dating a Jamaican guy and they got in a big fight and she he like put on some kind of wart curse on her or something where she just warts grew all over her. What's that a real Oh Haiti, okay. I do not I d I don't know. <laughs> God I'm ignorant. Okay, let's go. Let's watch your face again, her little cute face. Look. I'm so glad you guys are here to share this with me. Watch. Um, you know, stay in the now. Stay in the now and, and, and realize that your life is precious and you're okay. Like right now, you're okay. You don't have to be angry or yeah, or, yeah, or feel yeah, all yeah. Those negative, toxic yeah, thoughts that are really, yeah. to tell you the truth, really bad for your body to be stressed out. And so I swear, man, watching this shit will fucking put you in a fucking mental institution. I swear, man, I'm 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 almost there. Is really bad because this shit ain't real. There's no way. How do you sit here and fucking can any? How can anybody believe all this to the point where you're sending the money and wanting to be buddies with this? You know who fucking falls for this? Nobody acts like this with their eyes rolling in the corner of their fucking heads, looking upwards. And she's health. fucking stupid thinking and it, people are going to fall for it. Nobody thinks you're cute. Okay. One of the one of the biggest killers is stress. Anger causes stress on your body. And and you have this hormone called cortisol and it's this spiral like Hormone and it zips right through your ve blood vessels and it cuts your blood vessels off. Up, uh, that's not good for your body. So be happy. Shitty's vast medical knowledge comes into play. Be and you'll be repaired. It's kind of like, have you ever seen medical professional for twenty one years? Seen that Japanese experience. You know, the reason why Shani's in this uh, position she's in being handicapped is because Shani has spent a ma majority of her life helping others. Didn't you guys know that? Lifting patients up and down off the bed. Shani sacrificed her life to give unto you. Did you guys just sit and make fun of her? What the hell's wrong with you people? Leave her alone. Don't you see she's being cute? <laughs> Pyramid, where he was looking at ice particles, right? And he put like positive words on this this water, and then he put negative words on that one. And it turned out when it was like making like the crystallized ice the the ones that were having happy thoughts to them 
were these just beautiful She's so crystal fucking. snowflake structures. While the ones... Oh, it's a fucking YouTube video Shanny watched. <laughs> Shanny's always seeking knowledge. With the negative type thoughts and, and like feelings toward it, it was jagged. There wasn't any like rhyme or reason to the crystal, the water crystal. And you know that if you live in your life, imagine what that does to a person. You know, we are 70% water. Okay, we have a lot of water in our body. So if we we are get Is that why you pee in Jason's face? Given the intention of negative energy into our bodies, imagine what that does f to our bodies. But what if you started um, absorbing yourself, your media, in positive things, things that don't get you stressed or angry or anything like that, and you start just get. I'm sorry to interrupt, Shani, but where's your kids? And let me, since I got it stopped here, let me ask Jason, where's your social security disability check, Jason? But seriously, where's your kids? Given positivity to yourself, for yourself. It's really good for your body, your mind. It's wonderful. Where'd you get the money for fucking Wendy's, huh? Did you guys see that? She has Channy's eating Wendy's. I can't even fucking afford Wendy's. Have you guys seen Wendy's prices? What the fuck is she doing eating it? And she probably had it door dashed. Yeah? Which fucking doubles it. Maybe triples it. I don't know. I like having money. I don't waste my money on shit like that. I buy weed with it. Okay. That's not wasteful. It's good for you. Yeah, Wendy's is crazy, man. Fucking, I can't afford that shit. Um, I was going to uh, bring home dinner one night. And I went through the drive through And I looked at the fucking prices of how much it was. And I just drove off. I went somewhere else. But, you know, seeing her fucking sitting here fucking eating it and shit's kind of fucked up. You know, somebody ain't got no job or anything, just lays around and, you know what I mean, picks at her warts all day. But looks like, which leads me to believe that this current video she made of her sitting there trying to act all sad is because Shani's just desperate for fucking some more junk food. That's all it is. Somebody promised Shani a pizza. Shani didn't get the fucking pizza. Shani's upset. Shani's going away. Oh no. It's wonderful. So, I just want to encourage people to just start focusing. You know, and sometimes, you know, when I think about this shit and I watch this shit, I don't know if you guys feel the same way. <clears throat> but I feel sometimes I'm I feel kind of weird watching it. Does that make any sense to you guys? I feel weird. Like this isn't normal to fucking just like be obsessed with this shit. But it's like so fucking sickening. I can't fucking resist. You guys know what I mean? 
And it's kind of cool, you know what I mean? That's what I said before. It's cool to go somewhere where a lot of people kind of get where you're coming from, kind of understand what you're going through. <laughs> you're a support system. For us weirdos out there on the internet. You know, those people that just want to know about the warts. If we could just know about the warts our lives would be complete i mean really in-depth description of the warts shady please god we'll do anything tell us about the warts when they started how many of them you've removed? How many of them have grown back over and over? Which is your favorite one? Which one's your worst one? Which one was the hardest to dig out? Which one left the largest hole? Which one causes the most pleasure? Listen on the positive the negative, it, it's just, it'll make things work. I know a lot of you ladies out there fantasize about using one of Shani's warts as a dildo. First for you. It really will. Um, but you think in the positive and it's... Doors open up. You know what I mean? And you start just re-looking at your life on what it's been and you try to turn it into a positive and 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 that's just mainly what i try to do with my life is just turn <laughs> yeah it could be a negative experience and and make lemonade with it you know um what I'm part of her life is fucking lemonade? It. it doesn't matter what I'm doing. The lemonade you pee in the Jason's face? <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy every little... Is that what you're piece. telling Jason it is? Drink it, Jason. It's lemonade. It's really good. Peace of my life. Because you're never... You're not promised tomorrow. You know? The things could happen to you. Um, so why would I want to spend the last moments being miserable? I could be happy. I'd rather die happy, wouldn't you? Is she basically saying she doesn't have long to live? Is that what? Is that what this is all about? Correct me if I'm wrong, isn't that what she implied, that Shady doesn't have long to live and she's going to make lemonade? <laughs> but I'm just... <sighs> I just want people to get better and to heal. And if you're angry and you're point, Jenny's seeing a therapist. So is Jason. They're getting better. They think if they see a therapist, that'll put them on the fast track to getting a social security disability check. Pointing fingers at people, and and you're just hating on a mother. A mother trucker. I caught myself there. I'm really trying. Oh, aren't really you just hard wonderful? To work on my language. Oh, you. I yeah. don't want to be. Um, oh, you are just so wonderful. Too controversial. God, I would do anything to fucking talk to her face to face. God. I would do anything. I swear to God. There's nothing in the world I would want more than to just talk to her face to face just one time. I mean, my life would be complete if I could do that.
you know, you know how they have that make a wish. That's my wish. I want to talk to Shanny face to face before I die. I would love it. So, um, and and to wanton with what I say. I don't want to be like that. I I can be better than that. And um, yeah. I think everyone can do better than what they normally are used to. You can do better. This is the kind of shit, too. I'll tell you, man. Not only men, but especially fucking women cannot stand this fucking bitch. Am I right? Seriously, women, other women cannot fucking stand her. I can do better, and and we can really embrace... Yeah, the sexual, whimsical eyes. And love each other. Seductive. Because, you know, things are going down in this world. God, there she went again. Let's play that one more time. And there's something I want to discuss with you guys. And, and Watch your eyes. really embrace Look. and love each other Watch. the way we need to. Watch. Because, you know, things are going down in this world, okay? Things are going down, okay? Just think about what's happening in the world. We're no longer in global warming. We're in global boiling that's what the scientists are saying. Boiling. Florida's water 101. It's like a freaking hot tub. Why would you, like, you're trying to cool off and you're in, in a water that... I think that's a, uh, the medication she said she was on. I, isn't that a generic flexoril? You know, a muscle relaxer? What is it? Yeah, Flexoril. Yeah. I used to be on Flexoril years ago. If you go out in the sun and shit, it'll fucking really make you sick. I made the mistake of doing that one time. I thought I was dying. But what I wanted to discuss with you guys is, um, I know, and I don't look, I'm, I'm pretty personal. I don't like talking, you know, about my sexual, you know, life. Uh, but I've been with other women besides my wife, not during marriage, but, you know, previously to her. And I've never been with the woman who squirted. You know what I mean? You were urine flows out of the vagina. Is that common? For women to urinate during sex? I mean, I've noticed moisture, of course, but not like a flow, a water fountain, a fire hydrant, like Jason says. Is that normal or, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying that, you know, I, I curiously want to know, if you, have you guys heard of this? No, I haven't been peed on. Yeah, I don't want anything to do with that. Any type of ew, bodily waste like that. Because I haven't really researched or anything. And I'm thinking to myself, maybe this is pretty common. It's just something I'm just fortunate enough not to have to have dealt with. Okay. All right. That's good to know. Okay. Okay. And I'm not saying if a woman fucking has problems like that, you know what I mean, which, you know, that, that causes that some type of medical condition, you know, I think that, you know, that's perfectly fine, whatever. But I think in Shani's case, she does it on purpose. 
that hot? No. And it's killing the coral. And she probably gets off on it. You know, knowing that she's peeing on in Jason's face. It's awful. It's awful. And really, I think what's going on, because I've been doing Squirt really is sick. real, yeah. <laughs> the There's squirt is real. In, um, I would fucking freak out if that fucking happened to me, man, where somebody just starts fucking peeing and shit. Whoa. Mag magnetos. Because then you'd have to put down, before sex, you'd have to put down, uh, what do you call those things, man? Those bed things. What what are they? Bed diapers? Pads? Bed pads? Here. So oh, gross. Here, right? And there's this point that's like in like the southern state area, like right above the equator, where it's the magnetic sphere Tarp. is like kind of like bent like that. It's like bent in, in that part of the earth for some reason, and it's very low. It's gone down. The magnetic sphere has gone. Okay, down. do you guys, do you guys see what I mean about the eyes? Let's go back to the one she posted today. Then when I finish that up, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Oh wait, this is is this a new one? Yeah, we got a new one. Hey guys, what's up? It's Rev. So, this is my channel now, apparently. So, the, I'm going to use it. The begging channel for Shani. Because Shani has too much pride. From time to time to say something, I guess. Uh, the YouTube channel, I don't know what the heck happened with that. It was pretty weird. Um... It said that, that, like, we deleted our channel. Uh, because apparently, Shani's channel was on with my channel. So, I don't know what happened. We got hacked or something. It was very bizarre. But, um, for my first live stream on Instagram here with this account, what I want to do is I want to speak on positive people. The people that have been around that they're unsung heroes in our lives because honestly uh, we've been in a position where we've had zero income and uh, when yeah he noise the shit out of me too I can't fucking stand his ass I you know that's why I fucking enjoy you know the fact that we have the videos of him sitting here telling everybody to get a job you know, bragging about his wealth, being a stock guy, an investor, big shot. Look at him now. When you're living in a situation like celebrity, that, you know, God all these celebrities. How come you don't get in contact with all these celebrities? You guys know. Less uh, what family I have left. You know, they've done everything they can to help me. Ooh, uh, um, uh, uh, but uh, it's not... Uh, here know, we go. This is what... Uh, another uh, clue about Jason's uncle wanting him out of there. Listen. have been in a position where we've had zero income. And uh, when you're living in a situation like that, and, you know, God bless uh, what family I have left, you know, they've done everything they can to help me. Um... But it's not, you know, it's not a one-person job to, to take care of a couple of people that have been in a really rough spot and um, been kicked around pretty bad. God bless everybody in here. I'm waving to you all. Uh, I have extreme anxiety when it comes to live chat from all of the stuff that's happened over the years. Um, I used to not be that way, um, but that's just what I'm dealing with now. Thanks for the hearts. God bless all you guys. Um, but I want to really speak on the positive people. And I'm going to do my best. To, whenever I do a video, it be positive. I don't want negativity. I don't want hate. I, I want peace and love because that's what 
Shani is for, and like rest in peace to Shani online because she's done with it. She just can't handle it, okay? And I really, it's, it's tough for me to handle too, but you know what? When there's a lot of cool people around and, and I feel like, I don't wanna say it's a safe space, but kind of my mental state is so bad that it kind of has to be. It has to be a place where I can go and, and you know, say what I want and not see too much negativity. And, and if I ignore the chat too much, I, I apologize for that. I really do. But it's the way I have to deal right now. I, this is, <laughs> I don't know whose channel it was I was watching. Somebody was streaming this shit and they noticed that Jason seems to have something on his chin there. That hasn't been there previously. Look. You guys notice something? It's a wart. Are warts contagious? No. Because right here, this thing is major malfunctions happening. And I'm trying to sort that out. I'm having a problem finding a site. That's a fucking wart. I'll take Medicaid. That's a goddamn wart. Really, uh, I'm a registered Republican, but I don't like them because they really are trying to destroy it's a wart. Uh, the social structures. Confirmed. Helping people. It's um, a wart, guys. And I was always for... It's a wart. Even, even as a conservative... He's got Shady's one, warts now. Uh, I was always for social programs. To help people in need because it's like come on joe biden's in scranton today by the way uh god bless joe we we hope he has a great safe trip here um he's saying that so shanny hears him praising joe biden you got you guys know he fucking doesn't like joe biden this is all show for shanny to prove that jason shares the same political views as shanny there's Jason would never go against any of Shani's beliefs. You're voting for Trump. <laughs> I could see it all over your face. I I don't know. I I'm changing in ways, you know. Um, but I think it's positive because it's all yeah. Or it's the orientation of love and and compassion and empathy with other people. Because it's like, yeah, I'm a Christian, everybody knows I'm a Christian, all that stuff. Um, but love is, <laughs> that's the doctrine. Jesus Christ came here to tell us. Fucking finally did it, he finally fucking love. did it. He got the warts on his face, he finally fucking did it, didn't he? You went and you did it this time, Jason. What's your uncle going to think when he sees that wart on your chin? He's going to know what you've been doing. God, and that yellow stained face of yours. <laughs> brothers and take care of each other. You're gonna know your brothers and sisters. I got chills, man. It's been a while since I talked like this. You're gonna know your brothers and sisters by the way they treat each other. And man, uh, we we really failed in a lot of ways as Christianity in showing the world how we're supposed to be compassionate and loving to others. Um, so I, I want to be a part of fixing that as much as I can be, which is, that's the reason you're going to get positivity here. It's, I might preach on here, I might crack out my Bible, um, do the Reverend Dude hat and glasses. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, please do, Jason. Wear the hat and the glasses. Your trademark. That's what Jason's known as. The mysterious cowboy. Yeah. The mysterious cowboy going to the Ram Ranch. Do you guys hear that video Jason made where he was talking about Ron DeSantis? Questioning Ron DeSantis's sexuality. Okay, now, who's the one who gets online and dresses up in makeup and dresses, Jason? 
Who's the one who was on here giving thousands of dollars to a man who was transitioning into a woman? Huh? Who's the one that was a virgin up until Shani came around? How old was you? 34, 35 years old? You're not tricking us. We know what you desire. We know what you want in your mouth. We know what you want inside of you. A big, long, hard cock. You gotta be negative no more, though. If the, if the dude comes out, he's not negative. <laughs> How because dare I, you? I can't do that. My life is done with negativity. And it's just because, guys, if you knew the amount... How you, you dare you? you? You've definitely seen it, but if you, if you have <laughs> the amount of harassment that we... I'm just through, joking around. It, oh, it's a it joke. It really changes you as a person, and it has fundamentally changed me in, in a lot of ways, but... But it seems awful I suspicious. And he refers to guys as being cute. You guys have heard that where he talked about, he always talks about like Keanu Reed, uh, Brad Pitt. Who's the singer from fucking uh, Soundgarden? Is it Chris Cornell? That's another guy Jason was in love with and always referred to those guys as being cute. There's definitely something going on there. And when you're inviting people like other men into the bedroom, that kind of sets off a red flag also. Love positivity, I still love love. I, nobody's ever going to make me hate love because love is the greatest thing going on the planet. Love is where it's at. Um, and with, the, with that coupled with compassion... I've never that, said that in my life. Oh, that guy's cute. That guy's cute, isn't he? I've never said that in my life. And progress happens in people's lives for, the, for, for the, the positive, for the good. So I want to be that as much as I can. Thank you for the hearts. That's very kind. And I'm waving to all of you guys. You're awesome. Okay, thank you for the positivity. But this first stream that I'm doing here, I want it to be about the good people. Because if it wasn't for them, I don't know where I'd probably be committed to some mental ward permanently. Because I have, I, it's, it's in my history. It, I was self-medicating. Where's your social security disability check then, Jason? If you guys, any of you guys who are listening to this right now, if you have access to that Instagram, go in there. And ask Jason where his social security disability checks at. He said he was supposed to get it uh, four months ago. Where is it, Jason? I thought you said you were approved. They know who you were. Where is that? See, I'm obsessed with that. Because it was all fucking lie. With alcohol. And I had to get off the alcohol. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what he said. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was telling Shani. Shani's like, thank God. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was too much. It got way too crazy with the booze. Where is it? So I went to marijuana when I was out in Colorado. And that... You know, that is what it was. Um, the main reason we lost our money was because of harassment and moving from place to place and having to leave everything. It was horrible. But I deal with what's, it's, schiz, it's schizoaffective disorder. But also I've been diagnosed now bipolar. So By who? Your therapist? That you talk to on the phone? Who is that? Who you doing, 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 doing? The same repeat?
Yeah. And I'm not on meds because I don't have a psychiatrist currently. Um, yeah, but you just got done saying you were recently diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Huh. That doesn't make quite much sense, Jason. Are you lying to us, Jason? <laughs> I had one, they dropped me, and then I was going to Scranton Counseling Center, and I came And it all goes away with the hit of Delta 8. I can't get there no more, so I am without medication. Um, Let me pat you up right there. Here's a pack of cigarettes from Delta 8. You guys are the main reason that... You know, just like the doctors are telling Shani just to lay around and rest. Okay? Which reminds me, I got something for you guys. <laughs> let's go let's get down on this shit look at this shit look holy shit man nice leggings what the fuck okay shanny Okay. What diet, John Cheney? Really looks like it's working out for you. Look at all the fucking wart scabs and dead skin on the floor down there. Look. That's all wart skin. Where she's picking at her warts. Look down the floor. Look. Toenails. Wart messes. So gross. Look at the color of the couch, too. Ugh, so gross. So gross. So, so gross. I am not locked up somewhere forever, I'm sure. Like, I would have, something bad would have happened. Jesus Christ told us to take care of each other. That is his, that, the, other than loving God, which you got a lot, most of you guys got, <laughs> you do. Um, it's the loving and taking care of people part that I believe capitalism has failed because too many people have just... You're saying that because you're on welfare. You know, that's the only reason he's sitting there saying this shit is because he's on fucking welfare. He wasn't like this when he had all that money, was he? He's a big Trump supporter. Now that he's broke and starving, you know, now that he relies on the system, then, you know, look at him. Bomb. Just a fucking bomb. And piled it in their coffers and have not helped the poor in the level that we need to. Uh, so I, I might go into that in the future, but... I'm no longer a capitalist, I'm going to tell you that. And you might remember I, a while back I, you know, I kind of hinted at that. Um, but I'm... You know, those of us who are independent of the government, you know, we've noticed how severe this fucking inflation shit is. Imagine the effects it's, it's taken on these two. 
You know what I mean? Especially with the that little bit of food stamps they get. Jamie fucking eats that right up. Especially when they fucking use the EBT card down at the fucking gas station. Everybody knows you don't buy fucking food at the fucking gas station. The fuck you you too good to walk down the fucking church and get fucking food? Or that food isn't good enough for Shani, the food at the food bank. Shani needs pizzas. You know, and so it's really difficult to feel sorry for this guy at all. I mean, I enjoy sitting here looking at this guy fucking starving. You know, there's no way, especially if I cared about someone like Jason claims to care about Shani, I would walk down to fucking the church and fucking beg for some fucking food. Jesus Christ, Jason, she's starving. You seen her in the last video? How could you just sit there and just watch a poor starving woman suffer like that go to the church Jason <laughs> Jason go to the church <laughs> go to the church <laughs> Jason <laughs> Please, Jason, go to the church. <laughs> oh, God. Go to the church. Maybe Jason thinks that going to the church, you know, begging for food and shit would... is like a last resort to him, you know what I mean? I mean, you got to remember, man, and you guys have seen it. Man, he was like a fucking big shot with all that fucking money, man. Man, you heard that fucking laugh of his all the time. That <laughs> You know, he was on top of the world. He was looking down at it through his nose down on all oh, you poor people. All oh, you bums, low lives. You bunch of poors. You bunch of welfare pores. You know? That's why the, watching this just is so satisfying to see. And when Jace, Jason's whole identity was that fucking money, that's what made Jason a man. I mean, look at him now without it. Is this a man? This ain't fucking any kind of man I've ever seen. Look at him. His hair is just as greasy as hers. Except Jason washes it every once in a while with Shani's urine. It's killing him, too. I told you guys that, you know, the, for a while there, they were avoiding talking about G-Man, but they really went after him that last video um Shani did and it, it's killing them knowing that G-Man got over $100,000 for that house and they're fucking sitting there you know what I mean with absolutely nothing they don't even have internet oh and by the way when you say Obama phones George Bush is the one who fucking started the free phones Okay, I know everybody likes to think that uh, that it was Obama. No, it was uh, George Bush started it. But of course, Jason's going to say it was Obama. Might talk economics in a, in a future thing, but for now... And, uh, and I'm going to add a little something else, too, while I'm thinking about it. These fools, these lonely people... 
who go in the Shani's Instagram to try to befriend them. Shani isn't interested in any type of personal relationship with you idiots. She doesn't want a relationship with anyone at all. Okay, she just wants you wants you to give her money. When G-Man was over there supporting them, you heard that out of both their mouths that when G-Man was over there dropping off food, giving them money and shit, they didn't want him there. They wanted him to leave. They couldn't even stand being around them. If you're not supporting her, uh, in one way or another, Shani doesn't want a personal relationship with you. If you're that fucking lonely, there's a lot of cool people that come into all these streams. There's other streamers out there that would appreciate I shouldn't say appreciate, but you know, that would have a relationship with you. Don't sink down to that level. You cannot be that fucking lonely that you want to start up a relationship with some 700-pound wart face who faked cancer, abused her kids, did a staged a fake unaliving attempt, I just want to say that all you guys, and I don't care if for one person out there, I don't care if yeah, it's a fucking, I There's say, all kinds of fucking people on the internet. You can fucking, if you're that lonely, if you want to talk to somebody, there's all kinds of people out there. Why would the fuck would you want anything to do with this fucking bitch? She fucking let this guy here fucking beat up her fucking kids, okay? Did she let her kids get hauled off to CPS and has left them there for 14 months? And she fucking starved them. God bless you. God bless you, the penny. Thank you. But to, it's important to you that Shani gets her groceries from Walmart, huh? Shani gets her pizzas. Where the fuck were you fucking idiots when the kids were there, where the kids were actually fucking starving? Where were you then? And every cent that you guys, I'm telling you, it... It will. It's storing up your treasure in heaven because you're taking care of two people that really can't take care of themselves right now. Me, my mental state is just crumbled to the ground, and I'm just doing my best to deal with it at this point with nothing. Yeah, but he can't. He can't do anything. If what Jason's saying is true here and Jason really needs help, he can't do it because I made a video about this. All the resources go to Shani because Shani's sicker than everybody else. You know, I mean, how dare he sit here and complain about this shit when Shani's sitting there suffering? You know what I mean? The nerve of this fucking guy to get on here and bitch about having uh, uh, mental issues while Shani's laying in there suffering, eating pizzas, two liters, little Debbie's. You know, you're so fucking selfish, you fucking piece of shit. You understand what I'm saying? Who the hell you think you I are? I appreciate and send hearts like you're sending. This is Shani's right world. I love you. God bless you. I want to send love to each and every one of you guys that helped us out. Um, and if you want to continue, it's that we have continued need. So if you want to help us out, my PayPal is at RevDude, R-E-V-D-U-D-E, -E, RevDude, at RevDude. That's my PayPal if you want to help out. Have you guys ever heard them? purchase toilet paper I 
All right, let's get back. Let's finish this. The big pity party. So I'm just, I'm just going to go and protect whatever left I have. Because I, I need to protect myself and I need to not have stress anymore. Because it's killing me. <laughs> yeah. Stress of what? Raising two kids, working, what? Cleaning the house. What are you stressed out about? What, what concerns do you have in your life that cause you stress, fatso? I have trouble eating. I have trouble sleeping. I, like stress to me is we've recently discovered our property tax is going up almost 35 percent that's the kind of shit that fucking stresses me out that kind of shit what what are you stressed out about pizzas and i i don't need any more additional Stress. So many people want to make what I say about them, and I don't even know who these people are. And they lash out on me. That's always a famous quote by these lol cows. You notice that? Sh Shandy doesn't even know who you are. They all fucking say that if you listen to them. Somebody that they're angry with. You know, the negative people out there that get on and spread the truth about her. Shani doesn't even know who they are. Tch. Whatever. I wasn't talking about those people. And I can only philosophize this stuff for so long. Like, I have to just... Wasn't... Wasn't it... Did she just say that um, somebody promised Shani some pizza or something in exchange for doing something for them or something or another and it fell through? Is, is that what she's possibly doing here? Is that whole thing? In regards to that? On myself. And nothing else. I'm not doing good. And... I don't care if people are laughing and controlling and celebrating either. Because, <laughs> you know what, that sooner or later they'll be begging me to come back. I mean, is this it for Shani then? Shani's done with all this? Jason's taken over completely, huh? Shani's done. Just... Cutting out the middleman, huh? Just going straight to fucking bagging on Rev's end. This is so fucking pathetic. God, to me it would be just so much easier to just get a goddamn job than to fucking sit and do this shit. This is like, just look like such fucking trash, you know? How fucking low are you to get on here and do this shit? 
And, and, and to tell people you're fucking like starving and shit and you weigh like fucking 700 pounds. Just so they could hurt me some more. I, I just don't want to do it anymore. It must be the cancer. Is it the cancer? I rarely see good in people. Most people want to be nasty. And invalidated. <laughs> <clears throat> but I do, I do think the uncle's wanting them out of there. I believe that. I, I believe that uh, it's going on a year since they've been back there. And from the hints I've heard out of Jason, I think the uncle's pressuring them to get out of there. And I think it's coming up now because I don't think the uncle's wanna is going to want to kick them out around the holidays. You know what I mean? Like Thanksgiving or Christmas or anything. So I think it's going to He's going to do it at least before then, before the holidays. So it's either going to be sometime uh, in uh, September or October. That's what I think. That's my prediction. That he's wanting them fucking out of there. And I'm sure this has been a complete nightmare for the fucking uncle happening to deal with these two because you know goddamn well Jason isn't mowing the yard and shit over there. The uncle's got to fucking go over there every week and mow the yard because Jason's too busy tending to Shanny's needs. Shanny can't be left alone. Shanny could die any moment. You know, so it probably irritates the shit out of them going over there every every week during the uh, spring, summer, and fall. You know, seeing her just laying around with all those warts all over her face, with the everything all stained yellow. You know what I mean? Well, they do absolutely nothing for themselves. And then... They dread the phone call where Jason calls them and says, Hey, listen, Shanny needs meds. Shanny's doing real bad right now. Shanny needs some her medication. You know, so I'm sure there's a lot going on behind the scenes we don't know about. You know, Jason's even admitted that, that there's some shit going on behind the scenes that he don't want to talk about. And I do believe... That's what's going on. That the uncle is, is pressuring them to get out of there. But God damn, man, I'm telling you, man, it's going to be some fireworks. She ain't leaving out of there. No way. You are not going to put a sick woman who can't walk out on the streets. I'm, just so you know that, Tommy. You're not getting away with it. What kind of Christian would you be? You piece of shit. I never understood why. Cause I don't, I don't try to be nasty or condescending toward people. I don't want to. Oh, of course. Oh no, heavens no. Hurting so much. Yeah, the uncle's son. He's on Facebook. You know. Jason's cousin, who's a, you know, approximately the same age as Jason. You know, looks as if he's got his shit together. You know, Jason's cousin, the uncle's son. Yeah, he's up on Facebook. I was checking it out. Looks seems like a pretty normal guy. You know, a decent guy, from what I've seen. You know, just a regular hard-working guy who has his own house and family. I'm sure he doesn't like the fact that these two guys are fucking taking advantage of his father, you know. 
Because shit, man, that's his inheritance, this, the uncle's house. You know what I mean? You don't want that fucking shit destroyed with urine. Shit, that fucking piss gets down into the fucking floors and shit. That can completely fucking destroy the foundation of that house. I wish other people would feel the same as I do, but that's not going to happen. So... This channel and everything else of mine is going to Jason. If I can't do it, it's too much. I'm too sick. I hurt too much. And I have to do this for me. You fucking kidding me? She's been on fucking easy street. Listen to this shit. Nobody rarely... How many people out there have ever had that kind of fucking money that they had? You know, how? Who's who here has lived in a fucking... You know, without paying any rent or anything. If you take into account not paying any rent over in uh, uh, Colorado... They ain't fucking paid rent in fucking, what, two and a half years? Three years? A lot of people would have fucking appreciate having a break like that. Find some solitude. We're supposed to sit here and feel sorry for her. Oh no, Shandy, don't go away. You provide so much content, such good content. We get to sit and watch you do your whole whimsical eye movement. And get to hear you talking about the YouTube videos you watched. Okay. Social media has harmed so many people. Hasn't harmed me. <laughs> and it's caused people to just be so apathetic in nature and just hate individuals because they're told to hate someone. And that's horrible that people get so emotionally and mentally manipulated to do that. And to be that way. But as for me, I'm checking out. <laughs> Here, you can talk to my husband now. He probably changes change it to his name or something. I don't know. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Now look at that face. What does that face remind you of? Do you guys have you guys ever seen some of the footage back in 1945 when the U.S. were releasing the prisoners prisoners of war over in uh, um, Germany? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? He looks exactly like, like one of those people. Right there. That's hunger, guys. Look at him. They should fucking have like one of those <laughs> hunger commercials starring him in it. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. He's parting his hair to the side. Look, to cover up his bald head. Look. Jason's a gentleman. Channel now. I'm done. Okay. Well. Uh. I haven't had any proper food. 
food for like three days. <laughs> so, uh, I really shouldn't be talking right now. <laughs> three days? This motherfucker ain't eight three fucking days. Why ain't your fucking ass down at the goddamn church? Jesus Christ. Three fucking days? I'm, at, I'm having thought loops and all that bad stuff that comes with the condition that I have. So, uh, for instance, all I would have to say to you is if you could help me. Yeah, prisoner of poor. He doesn't even have enough energies to fucking talk. You know? Zero calories. It's a struggle just to talk. Man, this is pure misery over there, and I'm loving it. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to get off here. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, I'm home today. So I got to get shit ready for dinner. It's what you got to do when your wife doesn't have any limbs. My wife is an amputee. She doesn't have any arms or legs. Uh, so I'll see you guys. I got a video I'm working on. I showed you a little bit of it, but I got plenty more to go along with it. So it was cool of you guys to stop in. And it amazes me, you know, that a couple hundred people come in and listen to me because I don't like, I don't understand it at all. <laughs> I wouldn't, if I was, I listen to myself and I'm like, would I want to listen to me? Nope. But like I said, it's cool getting on here, you know, talking to people, you know, who, th who share the same disgust as I do. <clears throat> well, no, thank you, Corey. No, thank you.